Uh, Megan, Zoe, Oak Grove College. Tell me about your project. So our project about removing seeds from fruits and vegetables, we've been able to plant them again um, in order to grow them again. Um, it's to help with farmers in Africa because um, they would find it hard to be able to get the amount of money to go out and buy seeds because they can be quite expensive. So. And what did you do? What, what science was involved in this? What STEM was involved? Well, um, there was two main methods of removing the seeds and saving them. There was the drying method and the wet and dry method. So for the drying method, you really just dry the seeds to their constant mass. And for the wet and dry method, um, you had to soak them in water to remove the pulp of the seed. That's like for melon and tomato. And then you would dry them after to a constant mass. Tell me something about your results then. So with our, we did it with sweet corn and we didn't get any results. And we, found, we decided to do uh, research on it. And then we found out that it can take up to four or five months or so just to um, actually get it to dry out before even germination. Whereas we were trying to do it in a shorter time period. We didn't have enough time to do it. So we didn't get any results from that. But we did get results from tomato, melon and pepper and we did get good growth out of them. Um, so we just measured their height every day and it wasn't actually about getting a melon or a tomato. It was just about being able to grow from the seeds. So what did the results actually show then? Well, for the peppers, um, the autumn and drying um, temperature was 20 degrees. And for the melon and tomato, the autumn and day of soakage was four days. For the male, temp the temperature was um, 30, and for the tomato, it was 20 degrees. So, and that our results are good because the average temperature of Africa is between 20 and 30 degrees. So, they won't need a lot of equipment to do this. So, your results then? What results? Uh, what do your effect do your results have then on for farmers in Africa? Well, they'll be able to show the farmers that they don't have to each year go out and buy new seeds. And that's spending the majority of their money. Whereas they could have money to get other things like water or clothes instead of having to buy money for, to feed their families. And um, luckily, because the temperatures are quite close, the average temperatures in Africa are quite close to the optimum temperatures of our project then it could be quite useful to them as well. Why did you think of this project? Um, because we know um, Africa, parts of Africa are poor and we wanted to find a way that we could help them. Because we've, and we've also found about a charity, it's called Farm Africa, and they're a charity that gives them equipment and everything, but they haven't really shown them ways of saving their seeds, so we wanted to find a way we could help them by saving their seeds. Is this your first time at uh, BT Young Scientists? Yes. So what do you think so far? It's big. <laughs> There's a lot of stalls in competition. Tell me this then, you're obviously interested in STEM subjects. What about whenever you leave school? Will they have any impact on the career that you choose? Um, I don't know because my dad I teach his side so I don't want to be like him. <laughs> Um, it really depends on, because um, I might get to find something better I'm better at, so I'm not really sure yet. That's great, girls. Thanks very much.